think I see Biggie Smalls in the house. We got a big platform, man. Use that platform to make change. California. We love your music, Tupac. You paint a picture for the listener. It's not always pretty, but it's real. I'm important from the streets. I'm educating and keeping it real. I have it on good authority that the FBI has a 4,000 page file on you. Only 4,000, huh? So, I mean, this movie probably has been anticipated, right. like, probably before Pac died, people were talking about <laughs> this to be a Pac movie. Right. But, I mean, so much stuff comes out about the beef between him and Biggie and, right. uh, and the role that your character plays. Like, how when you seen the script, like, did, was everything familiar to you or was, like, any of this stuff new news? It was new? No, none of it was new. It was familiar. But to see it on the page, it was kind of new, you know what I'm saying? Because you just, you hear about it, you see the, the clippings and the, you hear the stories. And um, yeah, when I read it, I was just like, man, this could be something special. So, you know, you if it's on the page and I'm, I'm with it, you know what I'm saying? So, and then they let me add and do what I do, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I just try to make it work and try to make it real and hopefully it gravitates to the people. A lot of people happens. have placed Pac's death and Biggie's death and what people say conspiracy theories that say it's government and this and that in the movie mm -hmm. uh it touches on some uh, uh government interaction but it didn't really play up that part do you i mean what it, what it, what is your feeling about Pac as uh mm -hmm. and his unsolved death as far as wow to be honest man i really i, I really don't get into it because i really don't know yeah. You know, I just hear what happened. You know, yeah. I'm the type of guys I want to know, like from the source. So I want to see it. I can't really hear the he say, she say. You know, so I know what everybody knows: the Vegas casino, the fighting, riding with Suge, no vest, and you know, Suge looking straight. Everybody see that, you know, and yeah. he gets shot, and he we lose we lose a, a, a legend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I, I look at more of that we lost somebody who was an iconic figure more than, you know, how who killed them and all that. I just, I don't remember my place, man. I just say let his soul rest and hopefully we can honor him by putting this movie together and hopefully the world will love it, you know. I'm worried about him. Ain't nothing to be worried about. Like all black leaders, you have a bullseye on your back and today it just got bigger. But I ain't no black leader, not yet. And how you not a black leader? The vice president was just talking about you on the TV. Baby, you have to understand. With the Panthers, it wasn't that we had guns or, or black leather. It was because of our message. We were transforming minds. They are going to come after you with everything you love. They going to give you the tools that you need to destroy yourself. What do you think the next pivot would have been for Pac? I mean, he was obviously a great actor oh, as wow. well as a, a, a artist, but what do you think we would have seen? Like We would have seen definitely um, his his activism, you know what I'm saying? And I was hoping for, like, because that's what he had, you know? He, he wasn't afraid. He was fearless. He was a revolutionary. He would get up at these public forums and he would speak his mind, you know what I'm saying, in front of everybody, and people would try to quiet him. But he would—he was all about the truth, and he's gonna say it. And we need—he was Malcolm X, you know, Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's just like, you know, we—we we would need that to to this day. You know, you need people like that who are influential in the hip hop or just public figures who don't do that enough. And Pac yeah. was doing that 20 years ago. So I would—I think he could have been the president. If you ask me, if it was Channel, right? Yeah. You know why not? That's what I—that's why I seen him. You know, so. A lot of pop music to mm -hmm. to choose from, and I know it's like the impossible question, but when you had to pick out like one pop track that that speaks to you or your, your oh, know, anything man. like that, 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 I mean, it don't have to be. It don't mean that all the other ones don't. No, but like, what, I love pop, but it would it would have to be Dear Mama because I lost my mom in '96, and that was around the time the song was really circulating, and that song really meant a lot to me at that moment in my life. So I'll never forget Dear Mama with yeah. Tupac. Yeah, it means a lot to me. Corey, man, it's always good yeah. talking to you. You always put on a great performance in any Thank character you. you take on. So I appreciate you, Thanks man. for the time, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot.